August William Derleth was an American writer and publisher, best known for his role as young protege to H.P. Lovecraft and for founding Arkham House to reprint Lovecraft's work after his death. Born in 1909 in Sauk City, Wisconsin, the son of William Julius Derleth and Rose Louise Volk. Educated at the University of Wisconsin, he worked at a canning factory before renting a cabin and co-writing commercial fiction with his friend the critic Mark Schorer. Winning a Guggenheim Fellowship for his Sac Prairie saga, he went on to find Arkham House with his friend Donald Vandre in 1939. In 1941, he became literary editor of the Capital Times, which post he held until 1960. In 1953, he married Sandra Evelyn Winters, divorcing her in 1959, the pair having two children. He died of a heart attack in 1971 in Sauk City. He wrote voluminously. In 1959, he published The Mask of Cthulhu, a collection of six short stories written during a span of 18 years. For the most part, they are the same story, rewritten again and again with different trimmings. The Return of Hastur is the earliest, being written in 1936. It has Paul Tuttle inheriting a house from his uncle Amos. However, his uncle not only insists that Paul destroy certain of his books after his death, but that he burn down the house as well. Paul thinks nothing of this request until he sees his uncle's body undergo a startling and bizarre transformation before his death. Going through his uncle's finances, Amos seems to have paid fabulous sums for his collection of occult books and as much as $100,000 for the Relier text, which is almost $1.9 million in today's money. But also, that is the mysterious and quite sinister promise Amos references he had made in addition to this fantastic sum. The terrible promise is one of a haven, promised to Hastur, promising a horrible, deformed doom to any who would dare inhabit the house of Amos Tuttle after his death. The writing here is probably at its best, despite some amateurish touches. The Whip Poor Wills in the Hills is the story of a madman's manuscript of a man accused of having torn out the throats of many innocent victims as a result of an evil disembodied presence taking over the house he lives in, which is an interesting idea, but apart from copying plot points from the first story, including hearing a strange inhuman sound reverberating beneath the house, the reveal of the unreliable narrator happens too suddenly before the story ends. Something in Wood from 1947 is the only story in the book where the plot isn't somehow tied into inheriting old houses full of cosmic evil. Art critic Jason Vector gets his hands on a wooden statue of Cthulhu which possesses him and makes him insert references to various bizarre and bloody cults from all over the world into his reviews before meeting a sticky end. In The Sandwin Compact, Dave Sandwin is summoned home from Miskatonic University by his cousin Eldon by use of the cryptic phrase, the owls are hooting. This means that his uncle Acer has lost his wits due to a terrible compact his family had entered into centuries ago with ancient evil and which he refuses to keep and pass on to future generations with all the dire consequences involved. The House in the Valley is yet another madman's manuscript dealing with sounds emanating from beneath a cursed house. It is handled well enough, but the ending being so similar to Whip Poor Wills only underlines the similarities that much more. The Seal of Relier is similar to the other stories, except that here the narrator inherits two houses from his estranged relative. Instead of being haunted and killed by cosmic evil, the protagonist explores his inhuman inheritance and enters into a relationship with a woman from the Marsh family, the two deciding to go look for Relier together. The one negative to the story, despite the freshness in which it handles the haunted house motif, are the comparisons made between the Elder Gods and the Christian Trinity. The collection is very uneven and repetitive, but there are some interesting moments about, though I have no idea what the title is a reference to.